Treasure Path to Soul Winning Section 1 Assignments Number 6 to Number 10 Assignment Number 6 Reaction of Sin in Human Nature Described as coming from the heart Mark 7 21 For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders. Manifests itself by many evils. Mark 7 22. Thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. Defiles the man and makes him unclean. Mark 7 23. All these evil things come from within, and defile the man. In this condition declared to be unprofitable. Romans 3 12. They are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable, there is none that doeth good, no, not one. His wicked works prove him to be God's enemy. Colossians 1 21. And you, that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. Assignment number 7. Consequences of Sin. Both Physical and Spiritual Death. Romans 5 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. A place of eternal death. Romans 6:23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. A place of no mercy. Luke 16:24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. A place of torment. Revelation 21 8. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. A place of everlasting punishment, Matthew 25 46. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Assignment number 8. God's Great Desire. That none should perish. 2 Peter 3 9. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That none be condemned. John 3 17. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So he calls him. Genesis 3 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? He seeks him. Luke 19 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. He loves him. 1 John 4 10. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Assignment number 9. God's Supreme Sacrifice. His Son's death on the cross became our sin-bearer. 1 Peter 2:24. Who His own self bear our sins in His own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Substitute. 1 Peter 3:18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Sacrifice. Isaiah 53:5. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Sin Offering. 2 Corinthians 5 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Redeemer. 
Galatians 3:13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. Assignment number 10. Result of God's sacrifice. Man now can be redeemed. Ephesians 1 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Reconciled. Colossians 1 20. And, having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him, I say, whether they be things in earth, or things in heaven. Righteous. Romans 5 19. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Forgiven. Acts 13 38. Be it known unto you therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Justified. Acts 13 39. And by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Let's go soul winning.